Welcome to Electron Line. In this video and the ones to come, we're going to do some additional applications on how to work with the moment of inertia in cases where things are accelerating. Here we have the yo-yo. We have a disc, a solid disc with mass m, and it's hanging on a string, and the yo-yo is rolling down, and we want to know what the acceleration is of the yo-yo in the vertical direction. How do we figure that out? Well, there's two things here. We want to find the acceleration, and we do not know the tension in the string because here we have something that's rotating that has moment of inertia hanging on a suspended string like that and therefore we do not know the tension in the string. So in order to find that we need to solve for both the tension and the acceleration. We need two equations and then we're going to solve the two equations simultaneously. The first equation we're going to use the rotational equivalent of F equals MA which is the torque equals the moment of inertia times the angular acceleration. It is the tension in the string here that provides the torque because here's the point of rotation. You can see that the tension which acts in this direction relative to the yo-yo pulls on the yo-yo on the edge of the yo-yo. We have the radius here of the yo-yo called R and so therefore the tension provides a torque on the yo-yo causing the yo-yo to have an angular acceleration. In the meanwhile there's also a sum of force in the y direction and if we add those up we should be able to say that F equals MA in the linear sense F equals MA we could say that the sum of the force in the y direction will cause this mass M to accelerate at acceleration A and we have to solve those equations simultaneously. First of all we'll do the first equation. The torque is caused by the tension times the radius. So we have the tension times the radius is equal to the moment of inertia of a solid disk. So think of this as being a solid disk and so therefore the moment of inertia would be one half the mass times the radius squared and the relationship between the angular acceleration and the linear acceleration we can write that A is equal to R times alpha or alpha therefore is equal to A divided by R. So instead of writing alpha angular acceleration we can write A divided by R and then notice that we have an R on the left side and an R square on the right side so that cancels out and we have an R here and an R in the denominator that cancels out but in other words we can write that the tension is equal to one half the mass times acceleration. Now working with the second equation F equals MA we have all the forces aiding the acceleration and all the forces opposing the acceleration. The aiding the acceleration would be the force M times G or the weight of the yo-yo opposing would be the tension in the string. So we can write that mg minus the tension in the string equals ma. If I solve this for the tension, moving this to the other side and moving this here, turn the equation around, I can say that ten the tension is equal to mg minus ma. So now we have the two equations for the tension, this one and this one, so we can eliminate the tension by setting those equal to each other. We can then say that one half mass times acceleration must equal mg minus ma and all we have to do is solve this equation for the acceleration. Moving this term to the left side we get one half ma plus ma equals mg a half plus a whole that makes three halves three halves ma equals mg. Notice that the m's cancel out and multiplying both sides by two-thirds I can say that A equals two-thirds times acceleration due to gravity. A yo-yo therefore accelerates at a rate of two-thirds G when simply held by a string that is attached to the edge of the yo-yo. Now of course most yo-yos they're two discs with a smaller cylinder in the center and so the string is one over the smaller cylinder and it will be slightly different there. We'll do an example of that later but here you can see that if the string is wound around the edge of the disc the acceleration will be equal to two-thirds G and that's how it's done.